now, a sports shop assistant from Sandown is taking part in Swim 22 to raise funds for Diabetes UK. Chloe Bolton will be swimming 22 miles, the equivalent of the English Channel. And she joins us in the studio now to tell us more about it. Chloe, thanks so much for coming Hi. in. So can I just first of all ask, why are you doing it? Um, to raise money for Diabetes UK, as myself, I was diagnosed um, at the age of 12 with type 1 diabetes. So obviously to raise awareness of what the condition actually is and um, for people to understand the symptoms and help raise money to fund cures and tr ongoing treatment. So you've got type 1 diabetes and obviously you said you diagnosed with that about six years ago. Yeah. So just tell me, how did that change your life? Um, drastically, because um, no one in my family had it. It was a completely new condition. We knew nothing about it. Um, none of my friends had it. No one I knew. I didn't really know what it was, to be honest. So obviously the use of like, insulin injections daily and testing my blood glucose with t testing strips, it's you know, a big thing for a 12-year-old to have to deal with with no experience or knowledge of what it is. And do you think there's a kind of... You know, diabetes is kind of often thought of as, a, as, you know, an illness for kind of fat people or overweight people or unhealthy people. Did you sort of experience that stigma as well? Um, I had people saying to me, well, you know, like, you don't look fat, you're not exactly big, why have you got it? Yeah. And obviously, type 2 diabetes is associated with that, where people assume straight away, because that's what's talked about more in the media. So people mm. assume that I have type 2 diabetes, which can get really frustrating because you don't have to go through telling everyone, no, I don't have that. No, I didn't eat too much sweets as a child. <laughs> and it gets a bit annoying. So doing this and like, it raises awareness. People can know the difference between the two instead of just assuming that type 2 diabetes is just it when okay. it's, that's not the case. Right, so you're going to be swimming at 22 miles. Now, that yeah. sounds, I'm no expert, but that sounds quite far to me. Tell me how you're kind of going about that. Um, it's a progressive thing, so I don't do it all in one go. I do it, I'm going to do it at my oh local... God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it at my local swimming pool, um, the Heights Leisure Centre in Sandown. Um, it's, I worked it out, 25 metres is the length of our pool, so it's 1,416 lengths. Oh, my God. I have to do... <laughs> I start on Monday, and I have, to have until the 22nd of May to be able to do it. OK. So I'm hoping to go every day, or if not, at least five or six days a week, and do hopefully about 20 to 30 lengths, hopefully more, depending how it goes. OK, so have you done any training thus far? Um, I haven't done any swimming for a while, actually. In fact, I need to buy myself a swimming costume. Oh, OK. <laughs> but um, I've been going to the gym and, like, doing weightlifting on, like, upper body strength and stuff to help, like, you know, get myself ready and have stamina, which was set up by my gym. So that, okay. that went quite well. <laughs> and um, are you kind of feeling nervous about it or quite confident? Um, I'm feeling quite confident because I was a good swimmer as a child. I taught myself. I never had any lessons. I used to go quite often. So um, I'm feeling quite good about it. It's going to be something I think I'm going to enjoy rather than something I'm going to look at and be, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> and this kind of swim 22 thing, is it just you doing it or is it the whole of kind of lots of people doing it for diabetes? And um, It's like so if they advertise it on, the, on their website and anyone can sign up to do it. Um, right. You can do it anywhere. Um, and you can do it either as part of a team. Um, like spread the lengths out or you can do it on your own so anyone can sign up to so do it. So potentially someone watching could still get involved with yeah, this, could yeah. they? Right, okay, and they would go and visit the Diabetes UK website. Yeah. And um, tell me how, I mean, you've got a couple of months to do it, 20 yeah. lengths or so almost every day yeah and is that going to be enough then I, I can't quite do that um, I head. worked it I worked <laughs> it out and it's 20 lengths isn't enough so okay. um I'm hoping what I'm going to do is aim for 20 and if I can do more some right. days and then I can do less other days to make it a bit like easier on myself so I'm yeah. potentially having rest days but not having rest days oh god <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to it it's going to be good fun Okay, and have you got anyone else on board? Or is it just you just doing me. it? Just you just doing me, it. Yeah. And if people want to give money, do they give it via you, or do um, they give it straight away to Diabetes I, no, UK? No, um, it's via me. I have a fundraising account on Just Giving, so okay. that would be justgiving.com slash Chloe dash Bolton. Okay. Um, or anyone that knows me personally can hand me money because I've got. Um, I was sent for a pack the other day with a sponsorship form and records and things. So, okay. I, either way. <laughs> and when you kind of finish doing this fundraising initiative what what next is it going to be like phew thank god i've done that I'm taking a break or um no i'm doing what the white this year as well that's right. um the 16th of may and um, that's for the old Mountbatten hospice on the isle of white so 
I've got quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of fun yeah. going on. <laughs> At the moment. And you're also, you work kind of as a, an, a sales assistant in a sports shop. Yeah. Are you quite a sporty kind of person then, or is that just, um, kind of just happened? On and off. It depends, really. Um, at the, lately, I have been. I've been going to the gym quite a lot. Um, when I was at school, I used to do a lot of, um, like, I used to play cricket, and I used to do bowling a lot. But apart from that, that's really it. I wouldn't consider myself to be sporty, but I wouldn't say I wasn't active. Okay, and have, has your diabetes kind of ever held you back in anything that you've wanted to do? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. Um, it's always, you know, been there and it's been a bit of annoyance at times with things that I have done, but it's never really stopped me from doing anything How? I wanted to do. Like, um, sometimes, you know, I've been doing like, stuff at the gym and my sugars can just drop, they can go really low and then I won't be able to do anything. Um, but that's really it, really. It's not really stopped me from doing anything major. All right, Chloe. Well, I wish you the best of luck with Thank your you. Swim 22 challenge. Let us know how it goes. Good luck. Thank you.